Hi, I'm Lindsay with Flexi Fuse, and today we're going to show you how to make this amethyst colorway of the unicorn, which has been laser cut by laser cut quilts. So let's get started. So today we're going to show you how to use Flexi Fuse, which is a fusible web adhesive that's perfect for quilting, home decor, and paper crafts. Now on the back side of this package are going to be your instructions, which we're going to follow along with today. And because these are laser cut pieces, the trace and cut section is already finished for us, so we'll be able to move on to the ironing part. Now the great part about Flexi Fuse is that it is lightweight, as you can see on these laser cut pieces here, and it's also going to create a durable and strong bond. Now when you trace your Flexi Fuse pieces, you can use any marking tool that you would like, whether it is marker, pencil, or pen, and just make sure that you're tracing onto that paper side of your Flexi Fuse. And you'll also notice that these laser cut pieces, the backing is not falling off, but you'll see that once we fuse these down that that paper backing is really easy to peel off unlike some other brands. So now we're going to move towards um, fusing our Flexi Fuse down and I'll show you some tips and tricks for this multi-layer project. We're going to put our layout guide on top of this light box and it's going to be underneath this Teflon sheet so that way we can fuse our pieces in units just to make it easier to see um, exactly what pieces go under what. So we're going to start with this section of hair and we're just going to find an area on the piece and peel off the paper backing. As you see, it comes off pretty easily. And we have a consistency all the way across the piece of the flexi fuse. And then we're just going to line them up with the where they go. Okay, so now that we've done this section of hair that's all going to be together, we'll worry about these sections once we do this flower crown here. We're going to take our iron on a cotton setting, no heat, and we're just going to press it directly on top of these pieces where they're all touching. You don't really have to worry about any of this down here, um, just where they're all touching so we can fuse them together and make one unit. You're going to hold it down for about five to eight seconds, leaning more towards the eight seconds, just so that way you give it enough time. And then once it's cooled, you can pick the whole piece up and move it. Okay, so now my hair unit is finished and we're going to start on this flower crown. Okay, so we're going to let that cool real quick, 
and then we're going to move on towards his eye and then after we do the eye we'll put this whole head down and we'll do his the little nose right here on the unicorn Okay, so now that we have each of our separate units done, we're going to fuse them all together. So that way we can pick the whole unicorn up and fuse it down to the background fabric. So now that we have our whole unicorn head done, we can go ahead and take this off and we can go put it on our background fabric and we will show you guys how to center your background fabric on your layout guide so that way it's center. Okay, so now that we've put our background fabric on top of our layout guide, we're going to pin each of the four corners just so the fabric doesn't move. Okay, and then we're going to lay our unicorn on top, lining it up with the layout guide underneath. And now we can go ahead and iron this down. We're going to iron it down on a cotton setting, no steam, and you're going to press and hold for five to eight seconds. And now you can take your background fabric and unpin it from your layout guide and you can finish this with your favorite stitch.